We humans have always been fascinated by time, especially our time on Earth. From the moment we are born, the clock starts ticking and we become acutely aware of the passage of time. We measure it, we celebrate it, and we fear it. How long can we expect to live? This question has been at the forefront of human curiosity for centuries. As we age, the desire to understand and perhaps extend our lifespan becomes more pressing. It's a question pondered by philosophers and scientists alike. Philosophers have debated the nature of life and death, while scientists have sought empirical evidence to unlock the secrets of longevity. Recently, a groundbreaking study sent ripples through the scientific community, suggesting we might be bumping up against the upper limits of human lifespan. This study analyzed vast amounts of data looking at trends and patterns in human longevity. This finding, if true, has profound implications for our understanding of aging and mortality. It challenges the notion that there is no ceiling to how long we can live and suggests that there might be biological constraints we cannot overcome. This isn't just an academic debate. The implications of this research extend far beyond the scientific community. It affects public health policies, healthcare systems, and even our personal choices about how we live our lives. Understanding the factors that influence lifespan could hold the key to healthier, longer lives. Advances in genetic research, medical technology, and lifestyle changes all play a role in how long we live and how well we age. It could also force us to confront some fundamental questions about what it means to be human and the finite nature of our existence. Are we meant to live forever? Or is there beauty in the brevity of life? These are questions that touch the very core of our being and shape our understanding of life and death. To grasp the significance of this recent study, we need to rewind the clock. Over the past century, global life expectancy has skyrocketed. In the early 1900s, the average person was lucky to reach their 40s or 50s. Today, that number has more than doubled in many parts of the world. This remarkable increase is a testament to advancements in medicine, sanitation and public health. We've conquered diseases, improved nutrition and created safer living environments. These factors have dramatically increased our odds of living longer, healthier lives. But can this progress continue indefinitely? The drivers of increased life expectancy are multifaceted. Improved sanitation and hygiene practices have dramatically reduced the spread of infectious diseases, which were once major killers. Advances in medical technology have led to the development of life-saving treatments and vaccines. Antibiotics, for instance, revolutionized our ability to combat bacterial infections. Beyond medical interventions, our understanding of nutrition has improved drastically. We now know the importance of a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables and essential nutrients, contributing to better overall health and disease prevention. Additionally, increased awareness of healthy lifestyle choices like regular exercise and stress management has also played a role in extending our lifespans. Now, back to the present and the groundbreaking study that claims we may have reached peak lifespan. This study has sent ripples through the scientific community, challenging long-held beliefs about the potential for human longevity. Using complex statistical models and analyzing demographic data from around the world, researchers concluded that the rate of increase in life expectancy has been slowing down. This deceleration has been observed across various countries and cultures, suggesting a global trend rather than isolated incidents. This suggests that we might be approaching a biological limit, a point beyond which extending lifespan significantly further might be impossible. The concept of a biological ceiling is not new, but this study provides compelling evidence that we may be closer to it than previously thought. The study's findings, while controversial, have reignited the debate about the limits of human longevity. Experts are divided, with some arguing that medical advancements and healthier lifestyles could still push the boundaries, while others believe we are nearing the end of the road. If we are indeed approaching a biological ceiling, what does that mean for the future of our species? The implications are profound, affecting everything from healthcare policies to retirement planning. Societies may need to rethink how they support aging populations and allocate resources. Will we find ways to circumvent these limits, or are we destined to live within a finite time frame? The quest for longevity has always been a driving force in human innovation. 
As we stand on the brink of this potential ceiling, the future of our species may depend on our ability to adapt and innovate in the face of biological constraints. Section 5, Our Biological Blueprint, A Finite Timeline In this section, we delve into the intricate details of our biological makeup to understand the concept of a finite timeline in human life. To understand the concept of a biological limit, we need to look at the very building blocks of life, our cells. These microscopic units are the foundation of all living organisms and their behavior dictates much of our biological destiny. Each time a cell divides, it makes a copy of its DNA. This process, known as DNA replication, is crucial for growth, development and repair in our bodies. The precision of this replication is vital for maintaining the integrity of our genetic information. However, this copying process isn't perfect, and over time small errors can creep in, leading to cellular damage and aging. These errors or mutations can accumulate and disrupt normal cell function, contributing to the aging process and the development of age-related diseases. There's also the issue of telomeres, protective caps at the ends of our chromosomes that shorten with each cell division. Telomeres act like the plastic tips at the end of shoelaces, preventing chromosomes from fraying and sticking to each other. Once telomeres become too short, cells can no longer divide and die. This phenomenon is known as cellular senescence, a state where cells lose their ability to proliferate, leading to tissue degradation and the visible signs of aging. This process is a natural part of aging, but it also suggests there might be a limit to how many times our cells can divide and therefore how long we can live. The Hayflick limit, named after the scientist Leonard Hayflick, proposes that human cells can only divide approximately 50 to 70 times before they reach senescence. This limit is thought to be a key factor in the aging process and the ultimate lifespan of an organism. Researchers are actively exploring ways to extend the lifespan of cells by targeting telomere shortening and improving DNA repair mechanisms. Advances in biotechnology and medicine hold the promise of potentially delaying the aging process and extending human life. However, these scientific endeavors also raise ethical questions about the implications of significantly prolonging human life. As we continue to unlock the secrets of our biological blueprint, the question remains, is there truly a finite timeline for human life or can we push the boundaries of longevity further than ever before? The answers lie in the ongoing research and discoveries that shape our understanding of life and aging. Section 6. The World Around Us A factor in longevity? While our biology might set some limits, our environment plays a crucial role in how we age. Exposure to pollution, toxins and unhealthy lifestyle choices can accelerate aging and contribute to the development of chronic diseases. Stress, a constant companion in our modern world, also takes a toll. Chronic stress can lead to a cascade of negative health effects, including increased inflammation and a higher risk of heart disease and other chronic conditions. These environmental factors highlight the interconnectedness between our biology, our environment, and ultimately our lifespan. Section 7, a counterpoint, the potential for further progress. Despite the study's provocative findings, some scientists remain optimistic about the potential for further increases in lifespan. They argue that breakthroughs in areas like gene editing and regenerative medicine hold the key to overcoming our biological limitations. Imagine a future where we can repair damaged cells, regenerate tissues and organs, and even slow down or reverse the aging process at a cellular level. While still in their infancy, these emerging technologies offer a glimmer of hope that perhaps the limits we perceive today might not be as insurmountable as we think. Section 8. A universe of possibilities, our ever-evolving lifespans. The debate about human lifespan is far from over. While the recent study suggests we might be approaching a biological ceiling, the quest to understand and potentially extend our years continues. As science and technology advance, we may uncover new secrets about aging and discover ways to live longer, healthier lives. The question of how long we can live is ultimately a question about the nature of life itself. As we continue to explore this profound question, one thing remains certain. Our understanding of lifespan, like the universe itself, is constantly evolving.